hello students today i am going to discuss some of the aspects and doubts related to this particular subject. as received from some of the students i got this particular doubt ac amplifier using operational amplifier so in this student has forwarded me his email that he is having these doubts that what is the necessity of single supply ac amplifier and second thing is why we insert dc supply at the input third is what is the effect on the output so i will try to address these doubts in the most simple way if you do not understand anything please email me i will try to elaborate the problem in a more simpler manner before you understood these doubts there are certain points that need to you need to understand operational amplifier working mode for inverting and non inverting configuration voltage swing voltage clamping and declamping operations a role of capacitor in an electronic circuit so i will be addressing them one by one first thing is voltage swing so what do you understand by voltage swing that is very important so in the figure 1 you can find out that your reference line that is at zero volt is in the middle and your voltage signal has a freedom to move plus v in minus v in both axes equally and if i move my reference signal to zero volt only your voltage signal can move only in one direction either in the positive half or in the negative half this is called voltage swing so it is being limited by so many factors depending on the choice of the voltage supply what is the capability of your device sometimes it is saturated and it is clipped from certain points so next is clamping and decam clamping operation it can be defined as change in the reference signal so here you can find out that i am having uh, zero volts at the input like this and reference line is in the little vcc by 2 so you are having this particular device moving in this particular direction so if i decamp clamp this to the reference zero then my signal will move in both the direction equally well so now i have addressed two doubts i am addressing the third doubt that is necessity of single supply amplifier normally what we have seen in this course that your op amp is usually working in dual supply mode in normal conditions so sometimes it is not feasible for us to have dual supply at certain locations so at those locations uh, we normally prefer single supply voltage now in single supply voltage we have only one rail plus vcc to ground that means your signal is now only got a freedom to move from zero to plus vcc in dual supply voltage your signal has a freedom from to move from plus vcc to minus vcc now i am quoting this particular example suppose you are having a audio signal amplifier so input audio signal can swing between in plus to minus volt many volts so input signal can be amplified if you are using your dual power supply it can move from plus volts to minus 12 volts but if you apply only one type of power supply then it can move in particular direction so this is about the utility of single supply amplifier now we are going to use these concepts in our circuit so this is a single supply ac amplifier so here you can find out that this is working in inverting configuration and the student has asked me that why we have applied dc here so we are applying input here corresponding we are getting output here the capacitor c1 is there to avoid any sort of dc entering into the circuit and capacitor c out is here so that any dc inside the op amp cannot left the device so at v not we are getting pure ac at this particular point we are getting pure ac 
but here we are getting some DC because we have already applied some DC at this particular point at your non inverting configuration. Now the working is quite similar, all of you will understand it clearly. Now from the figures, I am just addressing the actual problem with the circuit which the student is having now. So here, this is your input, it is gradually in millivolts you are applying it. So if you are applying your device, using your device in a single mode, then you are only getting particular this half being amplified and there is no amplification corresponding to this half. So this may lead to distortion. So to avoid that, what we have done, we have applied a VCC by 2, a DC signal at the other end. So this helps us to our signal to have swing between two levels. That is from 0 to VCC by 2 for one half and VCC by 2 to V0 dash to the other half. So that is one thing. So V0 dash is the voltage at this particular point. So after V0 dash at this particular point, we apply this at this particular capacitor. So at the output, we are getting a declamped signal. So we have already discussed uh, in the previous slides, I have already discussed in the previous slide that we have to declamp this. So declamping means we are actually uh, removing this particular DC. So when you are actually moving the DC, the signal reference moves to 0 volts. So now your signal is actually moving from V0 to this particular level. So using single voltage supply, you are getting a good swing. Earlier it is not possible with single supply. So applying a circuit like this, you are getting VCC by 2. So this helps us to get a swing with the help of single power supply. So that is all about this particular session. So now if you are having any doubts, you can email me. I will address these doubts in a more simpler manner. Thank you very much.